If I were you, I would continue watching this video. My name's Shona Battle, and today I will be showing you how I built my new iguana skate trip. Okay, so we're almost done for tonight. It's actually upside down right now. In there is where the lights will be. This will be the front, except it's upside down. So behind this will be dirt, and then there'll be sliding glass doors here. I'm gonna cover the whole thing in pallet wood, so that'll be great. This is a little bit about the process of building like when it comes to wood, but we did a lot with um, expanding foam and doing the custom background, um, which is very cool. And then in the next video, we will actually be setting it up. Please excuse my messy bed. This is our Lowe's haul. And I guess this is my, I think, Christmas slash birthday present. Um, and these, this, these, this light is for the new fish tank. And these are for the huge, huge, huge new iguana cage that this guy's getting. It's twice as big as this tank, like exactly. And it's going to be ginormous. Now I'm sweeping it out so there won't be any debris in it for when we add the shower walling in the bottom and I'm painting the top so it'll look nicer and it won't take away from the coolness of the actual inside where the iguana will be. Okay, so as you kind of just saw, I just finished painting. Um, couldn't see very well because it's kind of dark and everything. And um, I just taste tested out the... Uh, front panels and they work really well so um they should be good except they're kind of like flimsy as you can see so we might have to reinforce them with like a piece of wood going down and then this is going to be the back part right now it's like this uh textured part but I'm, we're gonna put this onto it the smooth side and um we just have to cut the pieces it'll be covering this hole inside of here and that's why this isn't painted or anything so there'll be one on the wall, one on this wall, one on the back, one on the bottom, and then some covering that stuff and some covering um, like this. So that's definitely it. do not cut it this way. Cut it with some sort of saw type thing. This takes forever and is very inefficient and gets fiberglass pieces all over, which can hurt and get stuck in your skin. It's really, really annoying. Plus, this just takes a super long time. Okay, so now I'm just adding in all the uh, sides. We're using some kind of, I don't think it's silicon, to be honest, I'm not exactly sure what it was, but um, we're adding that on and then we're adding these corner pieces. So then it looks a heck of a lot nicer. I guess you could just put silicon there, but I have to say, I think it really makes, the corner pieces really make it blend in a lot better um into the different pieces of the uh sh i call it shower walling i'm not exactly sure what it is okay so i have this wood which is pin oak and then some what is this this is um just driftwood from lake erie and then i i had to cut this piece so it looks awesome here um You'll see it, but it like poses awesomely. Um, and then what pieces I cut off, I'm just going to put in the ground to use as twigs. Then over there, I have the piece, huge piece. It's going to be awesome. And then I have this, these bark pieces up here. I don't, I don't think I'll be using that, but I'll use that and that as hides. And then these pieces. And that's pretty much it. They're not like a suit. I didn't get like a super large amount of cool pieces like I have in recent or in different videos, but they'll still be pretty cool. Then in this iguana cage, I'm gonna be using all of that, but that'll be added in like once I'm done with the background and some, so will some of this. There's gonna be a lot that's just gonna be movable, like I can move it around. So let's start a time lapse and I have to, I have a ton of foam and stuff as well um, to use for this project. This is kind of my main Christmas present, so um, all the stuff on the inside my dad got for me for Christmas to use. So that's cool. So now I'm just drawing it out. So you guys have a rough idea of what I'm doing and I can also kind of look back at it to see what I think I should be doing. Okay. So I'm not great at drawing, but it's what I came up with. I drew this, this whole thing, this 
whole thing earlier before we had made it, but that's all straight lines, easy stuff. Um, but I, I guess I kind of want to show you this, so when I epically fail on what I'm trying to execute, you guys will know what I meant, but like, hopefully you know what I mean. So now I'm going to do a time lapse of trying to put the wood in, see how I like it, and just move stuff around. Okay, so this piece I'm going to be using as a pot, these, the big, big piece I'm going to be using for the iguana's basking spot. And now I'm cutting out, after measuring, I'm cutting out all the foam um, to hold it in place. And then I'll do expanding foam on top of this. So as you can see, I'm now measuring it again and then cutting out. So this foam's kind of around that. The whole reason I'm using this foam and the expanding foam is so I didn't have to use as much expanding foam. As you can see, I made this so the pieces fit into it perfectly. That was the whole goal with this. And I think it turned out really, really well. And it, it made it so there was like, it was kind of weird. Like, I, I felt like I was almost done by the time I had finished all this because there was a lot of carving and stuff like that. Then I had to go to the expanding foam. So, um pretty crazy this took all of this together kind of took what i'd say is a week worth of me working on it every single day of the week okay um my gecko's cage took like a i don't know maybe a month i think of me just working on it every once in a while like after school luckily this is i did this on winter break and that's why i um could work on it like every day and i'd stayed up like every night working on it really late which probably wasn't healthy. One night I stayed up to like four, but whatever. It's turned out awesome so far, so that's pretty cool. Um, now I'm just cutting out pieces, putting them together with um, toothpicks, and then I'll put silicone on them, or um, silicone them on, and also, if you're thinking of doing this at home, take off... Um, as you can see, there's actually like a liner on both sides of the foam. If you don't take them off, then your expanding foam will actually just pop right off the thing. That's what happened to me, and it made me have to like redo a lot of what you see me put down, which is really annoying. So keep that in mind. Okay, so um, just to update you guys real quick, I did it. I got everything done, and then I took everything out, and now I'm going to sweep it out and get it ready to all be glued in, and then I'll start expanding foam. Um, it's really late right now, so I have the uh, pieces over here. I have three chunks. That's what I ended up with. It's three pieces, and then I have some chunks that go in the bottom of this big piece in here that is, um, like, on here. Um... So I think I'm going to be done after this because I think I want to wait to put them on with my dad. Because um, I feel like that'll be easier. But my room's a total wreck. And I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. So I guess I'm just going to sweep it out get it ready for tomorrow. Just spent an hour. Um, I made... I, up, I edited three. Uploaded one. And that's basically it. Um, so that took up a big chunk of time, but the reason I did that, there was a reason, and now I forget it now, I think. Oh, because I was waiting for this to dry, and now I have room to um, do stuff on my phone. This video is definitely going to have to be a two-parter. So now I'm outlining it so I know where to put it back. Um, also, I know where to put the silicone and I'm going to put toothpicks. So the back of this is actually foam because we ran out of the other stuff. So this piece of foam is actually like really siliconed in with like the caulking and like everything. So um, I'm going to be, yeah, tooth toothpicking this down. And then the other sides, I just use silicone or silicone or whatever. Um, and I toothpick it to the bottom. So I ended up having only three pieces of foam now that I'd put together. Right, then I'm just going to go straight into some uh, expanding foam and just hope that uh, works. I probably won't do it all that I'll do, but I'm just going to get the main parts that I can think of right now. So that's next. Okay, so I didn't get to uh, 
expanding foam yet because something unexpected and annoying happened. Now, I was going to save this thing of silicone until tomorrow, but for some reason the inside exploded. Probably my fault because I've never done silicone by myself before. So down here wasn't done yet, so I just went ahead and did it. And I did a terrible job. It was here. I don't know if it's going to focus. You can see it's not great. And then down there and then all the way down. It's pretty rough. But luckily we won't really be seeing it that much. So hopefully the somewhat of that can stays. And now I'm going to do expanding foam. But I took it out and it was just completely exploded. So I'm just going to leave it like that and like put something over the side. Now expanding foam. So again, please remember to take off the liner because a lot of this I had to take off and do again. It was really annoying. And I have to say this was probably the hardest, most time taking part of this took forever like so long i say forever it took many 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 hours many hours um i had to sit inside the thing and just work just finished now it's cut to the morning and it is morning and i'm gonna do a little bit more expanding foam and then i'm gonna get in here and uh shave a ton of it down so now I'm adding a little bit more and I'm adding a pot in so I can plant some different plants right under the light, um, which you'll see in a second. And then this is the pot. Then I am carving some and I didn't really carve right the first time, I guess. I don't know. I sat outside and started carving and trust me that was really annoying like i said this was the most annoying part of the build but it was definitely worth it if you can i'd recommend sitting inside what you're doing and doing it because that's what i did eventually don't try to like um like it was really hard for me to have my body outside and put my arms inside like it just was really uncomfortable so i eventually just sat inside with like a pillow under my knees i also used this tool that kind of like sanded away the stuff um that got dust everywhere but it worked for some bits um better than the I razor blade I filmed in a while but i have the entire along the bottom done and a big chunk over here um now I, i'm kind of working on this wall i kind of have that area done right there and now i need to mainly work on this all the way kind of here now after doing a lot more I'm sweeping it out so I can kind of see what I'm doing a little bit better and like I said that thing got dust everywhere so it was good to sweep it out a lot to uh, get it all out. And now I am adding more of the expanding foam because I had to take a lot out because like I said earlier I didn't peel off the plastic. Okay, so this is the last spot that I have not done yet, is down back here. I did it, but then um, I had to peel it all off because I didn't s scratch it up, so that's why I wanted to show you this. So, um, there was a liner on all of this foam, which sucked, because it just basically meant that I could peel all the foam that I spray foamed on the first time off, almost all of it. So, well, a good proportion of it, not all of it, not even half, but a, a lot of it. So, um, I'm going to spray this on, and then I'll do that tomorrow, and then we can put the stuff on. I think this this will be the last little bit. So, this is a really annoying place to get to, but I think I've kind of done a good job on the bottom. I can't really see because there's stuff covering all of it. So now, I'll time lapse doing this, but if you don't peel off the plastic, which you should, peel off the plastic, I'll put a warning. So this will be the second time you're hearing it. Then just cut cut the foam and make it like make it so the foam, the expanding foam will fit into it. Okay, so now I'm adding this part on and now at this point I'm done at carving everything and I'm getting all the pieces out. So um then I can start adding the silicon all over it and then the dirt. Again, this took a super long time, so it went really fast for you. Not so much for me. 
Um, again, I'm just like vacuuming it out, which I wouldn't exactly recommend vacuuming it all out because I had to completely try to empty my, uh, shop back or the vacuum hose, which was really, really annoying. Now we're adding in the silicon. We use brown 100% silicon. And after rubbing a certain portion of the tank, then we covered it in dirt, which was a mixture of normal topsoil and cocoa fiber and then maybe a little bit of sand and gravel then once we were um, done i patted it down really hard um, by the way then once we were done we set it up and then we touched it up a little bit after getting all the um, dirt that was the access dirt off now we're doing the side so we waited a night to get the dirt off on the main back then we did the side and then um we put dirt onto it and then after waiting three hours for one side we flipped it over and did the other side okay so i took out the crappy stand that was here and um put in this stand which ironic ironically the other stand was made out of part of a desk and so is this one um so it took up the space of the trash can and the other thing, and it holds my Xbox, the Wi-Fi thing, and now the water change equipment type thing. Then this whole area will be will have the iguanas thing in it, which is we're doing one of the sides of right now. Then this tank is going to go over right here for a little while as I slowly move those fish into this tank, and then this tank stuff is going to go into the iguanas cage. That's basically it. So, and then the doobie roaches, the the gecko's cage, the two 10 gallon terrariums, maybe more, I don't know, are gonna go on top of this. And then I'm gonna have a light, wanna, I have a light that's gonna probably even hang from the ceiling for those ones. So, that's cool. So that was what we were doing, moving stuff around, why we waited for the other stuff to dry. And now we're rubbing on the silicon and then, again, putting on the dirt, make sure we're patting it down enough. And now I'm moving the tank. So we put like slidey thingies instead of wheels on the bottom so it wouldn't scratch the floor and we could slide it really hey easy. Hey guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like it down below. If you have any comments or concerns, put in the comments below. And if you want more content, then subscribe. Stay tuned so I can do the setup of this video, um, or stay, stay, subscribe so you can see the setup of this video. Like and comment if you want to see a step-by-step -step how to build one of these on your own, and I'll do like a mini version, like a mini terrarium type thing, same concept, just so you guys can see how to build it if you guys want to see that. And have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a happy new year.